presses. Pull it back. Pull it back. Hi, I'm Father Chris Alar, the director of the Association of Marian Helpers here in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. I'd like to ask you a question. Have you heard about Giving Tuesday? Well, you all know that we have Thanksgiving, a special day of the year that we give thanks to the Lord for all the goods and the bountiful harvest that we have received throughout the year. Then the following day on Friday, we have Black Friday. The one day of the year where consumerism seems to run rampant. Then we have Cyber Monday. Huh? Where we are told that we have to go online and shop for bargains throughout the day. Wow! Well, thankfully we also have Giving Tuesday. A global day dedicated to supporting nonprofits who do great work throughout the world during the year and change the world in little and big ways. Well, this Giving Tuesday, we are asking for your prayerful and financial support to help the Marian Fathers continue in their mission of changing the world in very, very big ways. Yes, from Eden Hill has sprung forth what has been called the greatest grassroots movement in the history of the Catholic Church the divine mercy message and devotion. As given to the world in the 1930s through the revelations of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska. Since 1941, the Marian Fathers had been entrusted with spreading the message and devotion of the divine mercy, which we do from our United States headquarters here in Stockbridge, home of the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy. So exactly how has the world come to know about this message of divine mercy? Well, largely through what happens here. Let's take a look. Here at the Marian Helper Center, we print, publish, ship, post, and share millions of pieces of literature annually, all in an effort to help share God's message of merciful love, especially in this world today that we live in, so marked by sin, brokenness, and despair. Our prayer cards and booklets have helped bring the light of faith to the far reaches of the globe, spurring discipleship, inspiring millions to follow the call to serve God and neighbor, and to extend mercy to the neediest among us. Our books, including those of authors such as Father Mike Gately and Father Don Calloway of the Marian Fathers, have led to countless conversions and many, many religious vocations that have helped to reinvigorate the Marian congregation and the many places that we serve. We published St. Faustina's Diary, called Divine Mercy in My Soul, which is a modern-day spiritual classic in which St. Faustina faithfully records her encounters with Jesus our magazines and newsletters spiritually nourish our Marian helpers who partner with us in our many evangelization efforts. Remember, Jesus told St. Faustina that he wanted the image of divine mercy to be venerated throughout the world. So in response to Jesus' request, we print high quality canvas images at very low costs. In doing so, we help support a growing network of charities and religious communities that serve the poorest of the poor. We supply them with top quality Divine Mercy images, prayer cards, pamphlets, and books. Our many websites, including thedivinemercy.org, marian.org, and our Spanish language sites, ladivinamisericordia.org and marianos.net, provide free content updated daily, inspiring our readers into a deeper communion with the Lord Jesus and, in turn, to take up the task of service to Christ and His Church. With our social media pages, we share articles and videos that have galvanized a very large and growing online community of friends sharing the faith. It was St. John Paul II who urged the Marians to be apostles of divine mercy under the maternal and loving guidance of Mary. But we cannot do this without your help. You know, Christ told St. Faustina that mankind will not have peace until it turns with trust to God's mercy. So please help us in our efforts to change the world in a very big way.